Now who doesn't like going to an air show and photographing planes like this F-18 here screaming across the sky at near supersonic speed? Most people love going to air shows, even just to watch these planes doing their thing. And I live in Southeast Queensland and this Friday on the Gold Coast we have a super air show coming up. It is the Gold Coast International Air Show. And a mate of mine are going and we've paid slightly more because we don't want just the general admission tickets which will be on the beach. So we're on the race platform and we're really looking forward to it. But I thought I'd do this video because five years ago this is when this photo was taken. And in those five years I've improved my photography and I've also improved and understood more about photographing planes. Not just jets. Jets are so easy to photograph because you just need a fast shutter speed and keep track of them and bang you're going to get some good photos. But when it comes to planes with propellers this is where most people get bogged down. But before we get into this video on the shutter speeds that you need and all that I just thought I'd go through and tell you what I'm going to take to this air show and what I took to the air show five years ago because there's a big difference. Now five years ago I had my Nikon D7500, I had a Takina 80 to 400 mm lens and I also took my Nikon 18 to 140 in case I want some wider shots because I'd been told that there was going to be some displays so the Nikon 18 to 140 would be great for all purpose and the Tokina 80 to 400 was going to be good for zooming out and getting some planes up close. But this coming Friday I'm taking different gear. I'm taking my wildlife setup, my Nikon Z6 II, my Nikon 200-500 f5.6 lens and also the Nikon 24-85mm. I'm hoping, really hoping to try to take some video. Now trying to take video with the 200-500 of planes screaming across the sky is going to be quite a challenge for me. I figured that the 24-85 is going to give me some good shots of the planes. So this is why I'm taking this lens. Now six hours is a long time to hand hold a camera. I'm also going to be using a monopod to take the weight off my shoulder with my camera and taking my Leo Photo tilt head that I use for wildlife photography. So the two of them are just going to sit like that. All I need is just up and down movement like this. And that's all I'm going to need. This is going to provide me stability and the ability to get some much better shots because Jets are very easy to photograph and I'll show you that in a minute. To propeller driven planes then you need a much stabler hold on the camera because you're shooting at a much lower shutter speed. So like I said photographing jets is very easy. But now let me walk you through some of the photos that I started taking at the start of the day because this was my first adventure into photographing planes at an air show especially propeller driven planes. I'd photographed jets quite a few times at Riverfire in the city in around September. This time I got myself into all sorts of bother because and I didn't understand that I needed a lower shutter speed when I was photographing propeller driven planes. So this is the first plane here that I photographed that day. You can see I was at 250 mils, 500th of a second, F8, ISO 100. So I was shooting in just shutter priority. It looks like the propeller standing still. Take a look at this plane here. This yak was screaming across the sky and I thought beauty I've got some great shots of this plane. But when I looked at photos I couldn't understand why the propellers didn't seem to be moving. There was just a slight blur. There was a guy beside me and he said oh he said you sound like you're just grumbling. I said yes. I said look I thought I had some great photos but the propellers are like they're standing still. And he said mate what's your shutter speed? I said on this photo here it's 1 640th of a second. He said way too high. Drop it down at least like 1 200th or something like that. You need just to pan your camera and you need a lower shutter speed to get that rotation in your propellers. I said okay I'm going to try that. So then these two biplanes came across and I dropped my shutter speed to 1 320th of a second. I was a little bit hesitant at going all the way down to 1 200th. So I said okay I'll just drop it down to 1 320th of a second. 
and I got propeller blue. I go like, oh, this is great. You happy now? I said, yes, I'm much happier. He said, trust me, bring it down even more and you will get some better photos. And that's what I did. So this T60 Texan was just taking off and my shutter speed was 1 125th of a second. Beautiful propeller blur. The ends of the propeller were yellow. I've got a beautiful circle. I was wrapped. And he said, this is what you've got to do. He said, when it comes to jets, yes, you can up your shutter speed. But when it comes to these propeller powered planes, you have to reduce your shutter speed. And that's what I did. When you're out there at the air show, think creatively as well. Also think like you're a landscape photographer or a portrait photographer. You want different angles, not always like the plane coming in front of you or the plane sort of going above you. You want different aspects. This was one of the last times that we photographed propeller driven planes that day. And he did a fly pass and he just flew off into the sunset. And I got a great shot of this. I've got propeller blur and the speed 1 1 25th of a second. Now I'm showing you just the best and also the worst. There was a lot of in between shots. I took a lot of shots. I think that day I took something like 500 photos. A lot of them were just trash because it was my first air show. And if you're going to the Gold Coast air show or if you're going to another air show and that's your first time, don't expect miracles. Expect that yes, you're going to walk away with a few nice photos, but you're going to end up deleting a lot of your photos. I'm going to an air show on Friday and I know that at least half of the photos that I take, I will dump, but I'm going to still end up with a lot of good photos because I'm going to be shooting at a frame rate of around eight to nine frames per second. And that's going to give me a lot of photos and I choose the best and then just dump the rest. This is where the excitement came along. We were getting towards the end of the day and we were told that the F-18 was on its way and to get ready for some spectacular photography. We were told that the plane was going to come in from the left. No, the plane came in from the right, but he just flew past. I wasn't ready for it, but when it banked, look at the clouds form on the wings. This is the sort of shots you want to take when you're photographing jets. When they're just screaming, just front on. It's great, it's a nice photo, but you want action, you want to show speed. If you've seen the movie Top Gun or other movies with jets in there, you'll see when they bank, this is when you get all these vortexes of air just around the wings and it looks amazing. Now this one here, even though it's not in perfect focus, I really like it because look at it carefully. Can you see the jet wash? You can see all that turbulence in the back, that's jet wash. Then it came round again and he was flying inverted. And this is just amazing to see watching these pilots flying inverted. It really gets your heart racing and I love this photo. Now I look back and I worked out that I took around 50 to 60 photos when the jet was inverted and only about three or four were of any good to me. So that gives you an idea how I started, but I still walked away with a couple of very nice images of the jet inverted. Then he did another fly pass and look, this time I cropped it like this because it really gives a sense of speed. Look, see he's banking again and look at all that air just moving off the wings. These are action shots and these are shots that you've got to think about when you're going to air shows. Propeller driven planes are not going to give you that. Jet engine planes are going to give you this and this is the sort of shots that you've got to think about taking when you're at air shows because I'm sure that they're going to be doing these sorts of stunts on Friday. Then it sort of disappeared and we were told that it was going to come back at supersonic speed and it was just going to leave us straight up. And sure enough, we could hear it. The announcer was saying, yes, he's inbound. And he just came in so quickly and then just whoosh, straight up. And this photo here, look at it. It is just amazing. You could see where the missiles sit. You could see a bit of the vortexes around the wings. And he's just going like ballistic, like a bullet straight up. And he just disappeared into the clouds. Like has this jet had taken off and he was waiting to come back to do the vertical climb. We were told that there was a C-17 Globemaster coming in as finale for the show. 
and the F-18 went straight up. And we were told that the C-17 was on its way. And my mate told me, he said, listen, take your 80 to 400 off, put your wide angle lens. He said, this plane is so big that you're going to need a wide angle lens to get the most out of this plane. And I'm glad I listened to him. And that was the only time that I used that lens to photograph planes. But seeing the C-17 come in, it is just a monstrous plane. Now my shutter speed's quite high here. One 1,250th of a second at F9. It was getting late in the day, there was a storm brewing, but seeing this plane coming along, rumbling down the runway was just amazing. And this is the last shot that I got off it. Look how big this plane is. And can you see, I'm shooting at 50 mils on a crop sensor. So now I'm showing you these, not to sort of highlight my photography. I'm showing these so that you can see that I learned, I learned a lot. I'm glad I bumped into somebody who knew about photographing planes, especially propeller driven planes, or else my day would have been half wasted because I was struggling. I really couldn't understand the fact that I needed a slower shutter speed. If you're going out to an air show and there's propeller driven planes flying around, drop your shutter speed. Try to keep it at least a maximum of 320th of a second and the lower shutter speed you go, the better it's going to be. But remember, because your shutter speed is going to be quite low, then you are going to have some blurry images. So not all your photos are going to be pin sharp, but you're still going to get some sharp images. And this is why I'm taking that monopod to give me more stability. So if you've enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, I'm going to an air show on Friday and within about a week to two weeks time, I'm going to put up a video. I know there's so many photos I'm going to take. I'll probably put a two part video. So there'll be part one and part two. So stay safe. Enjoy photography. If you've got any questions or feedback about photographing planes, leave it in the comments. I answer all questions. Have a good day.